guys! Oh, I am so excited to showcase my first time wearing uppy piggy tail things where I look like Harley Quinn. Well, at least the first time in a long time. And um, I think it'll kind of uplift the mood of this vlog because the topic is going to be kind of heavy. And I'm just giving my um, opinions and my insights on it and what I think is kind of uh, fucked up from a legal standpoint and also from a societal standpoint. But we're going to talk about rape today. It's not going to be that grape. It's not going to be that grape. It's going to be very orange not grape, so if you're looking for a grape-flavored rape, then uh, you aren't going to find it here. Anyway, uh, by the time you watch this, I will be at PAX. I'm recording this on Thursday, but this is Saturday's vlog. That's how busy I'm going to be this weekend. I have to record a bunch of stuff early on, so if you've seen me in this outfit and this hairstyle uh, on Thursday is streaming and you're like, what the fuck is going on? That's what's going on. But anyway, let's talk about this. So first off, I want to start uh, by saying that if you are jogging in a park and you get abducted by a guy, and you're beaten and raped and like left for dead. I that is like one of the worst things that could ever possibly happen to a human being, and I'm very fucking sorry. I'm sorry for all the injuries. I'm sorry that um, that happened to you, and it's terrible. It really is terrible. I'm not trying to. Um, with what I'm saying, I'm not trying to um, take away the terribleness from your ordeal, and um, I definitely would not wish that on anyone and wouldn't want that to happen to myself as well. So uh, I just wanted to get that out of the way for all of the people who might misunderstand what I'm saying. Um, all the sensible people, though, you can just skip to uh, one minute and 30 seconds, <laughs> which doesn't really help you unless you can go back in time and rewind like Life is Strange, like Max Caulfield. And uh, anyway... Yeah, so I'm going to start with a little bit of an anecdote. Well, it's not like a personal anecdote, but it's something that I heard about recently in the magic community. And don't worry, you don't have to know anything about magic in order to understand what I'm saying. So basically, there was this guy who 10 years ago was convicted of rape. Um, and when that was outed, he was banned from playing in magic tournaments, even Magic the Gathering online, which is pretty much just an online client. You can never do anything with it other than just play online. And occasionally there are like in-person tournaments that you can qualify for with Magic Online, but uh, they're like really small tournaments and um, they're held at the Wizards headquarters and all that stuff, so uh, most Magic tournaments are pretty secure. But anyway, the details of this uh, rape are that uh, he, he claims that it was consensual, but it was at a party and the woman was drunk and I guess she was like uh, bent over a toilet or whatever and um, they I guess she was convicted because the girl said that she was raped and the guy said that he was consensual, but he ended up taking a deal as to avoid a, a longer sentence, basically. So it's pretty good. Um, it's a pretty good idea when you have a lot of, um, if you have a lot of evidence against you to take a deal so that you don't end up for sure staying in jail for a very long time. I think that uh, makes sense to everyone legally. A lot of people have watched shows where the legality of things is in question, so you kind of know that. You don't have to be a lawyer to know that. Uh, and you don't have to have had committed a crime to know that. Um, but basically, since then, the last 10 years, he got married. He um, went to school for law-related things. He gave back to charity, and he pretty much tried to turn his life around because clearly this was just a mistake. It was either a mistake or it was something that didn't even fucking happen. But the fact that 10 years later, his life is being ruined... And this guy has won tournaments. Like, he is... He was good at magic and important in the magic community, and he was winning tournaments. And um, just because some douche decided that he should say something about it, um, Wizards has just been like, you know, fuck you and fuck your accounts. And they basically said that you can't... They, they gave him a check for all of the things that they estimated was worth on his MTGO account, and um, they wouldn't let him transfer the cards to friends. It was basically just like, uh, we don't have to give you details, fuck you. And I think the distinction in society between different types of rape should definitely be there. Because, in my opinion, when a girl gets raped, raped, she says it's rape, at a party, and then she wakes up the next morning and she like says that she was raped. That is completely fucking different from the guy who habitually goes into a, a you know park where women are running and it's a stranger and grabs them and rapes them and you know attempts to murder them or beats them or it's just like this malicious violent act. That is completely different from something you did, like a mistake you made when you were a teenager, you know, in high school or college, where you know some drunk girl like gave you a little less consent that is than is necessary for you know a legal consensual you know sexual relationship or the most important thing that I think is the most fucked up thing about the legal system is that a woman can basically like make a mistake with some guy that was completely consensual and the next day wake up and go yeah I was raped and a lot of women like kind of just say they were raped or say that this happened to them so that they can get attention, that's something that actually happens. And I know not everyone is doing that, and I know that might not even be the majority, but it's a little bit ridiculous that someone who made a mistake at a party gets the same, 
you know, gets in the same trouble as someone who actually maliciously raped someone and they don't, and it ruins the fucking guy's life. He's like a sex offender. He can't do certain things. He can't get certain jobs. He has to like, you know, do crazy things to get back into society's like even decent graces since then. It's just so ridiculous to me and so unfair to me that like, what the fuck is he going to do? Like he had sex with some girl at a party and she may not have liked it that much. And now he can't participate in something that he loves and he's like barred from certain things in his life. Like fucking magically, he's gonna go around raping the two women. They're at a gigantic magic tournament where there's a lot of security and people. And it's just so fucking stupid to me that they did that just because of something that happened a fucking long time ago. And shit like this happens all the time. And it sucks because like they would say, like rape reports would say, um, well, there was this like damage like vaginal damage or, you know, bruises that are consistent with rape. Yeah, so has, there would be every single time I have sex. Like, I like rough sex. It's fun. You know, I'm gonna get a bruise. I'm gonna, you know, have a beaten up pussy for a day, I guess. I don't know. But, like, to, like, it sucks. I can't just, like, go, like, and have sex with some new guy. Well, at least if he's a smart new guy. I can't go and have sex with him and be like, fucking pull my hair, spank me, you know, slap me, you choke me, all that stuff. He'd be like, if you're smart, if a girl comes up to you and says that, be like, fuck that shit, because your word is much, much stronger than mine. And it's such a double standard, too, because if a woman rapes a man, unless he, as long as he's not underage or something, it's like, who cares, right? And, like, it's, it should be a similar trauma. Like, I know that the woman has a different, you know, sexual parts so that, like, you know, it can hurt more or it can be damaged more and stuff, and it's more likely... Uh, that a woman will get um, raped than a man because of, you know, just the physical stature and stuff. But if a man gets raped, why do we kind of laugh at it? And a woman gets raped and it's the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone. Okay, so like unless you are actually brutally murdered, like almost brutally murdered and beaten and all that stuff, rape is not the worst thing that can happen to you. And I hate the women who talk about rape as if it's something that we can't joke about. We can joke about everything. And if you have a problem with it, just don't be around the people that are joking. I, I can have, I can imagine having something terrible happening to me or having things that are, you know, like poor traits that I have or something being made fun of. And I take it as a joke. And if you can't, if you're not at that stage in your life where you can take something as a joke, I feel like you still need psychological help because you can't bar people from freedom of speech. You can't go around and like, be like, oh, I can't even, you know, be in this, you know, comedy club because someone might talk about rape and it just it seems like a cry for help rather than actual reality. And I get that people are trying to protect these rape victims because it is, it could possibly be something that is very terrible in your life. But to say that your husband raped you, that's fucking bullshit. Oh my God, your husband cannot rape you unless he's like beating you along with it. Like, oh, and then they're like, yeah, I was raped once by my ex-husband. It's like... Get a divorce, separate yourself from them, unless you were beaten, have, like, it's, oh, that is not the worst thing that can happen to you. There are so many worse things that can happen to you than having sex with someone when you didn't really feel like it, someone you've had sex with before, or, you know, getting drunk at a club and having sex with a guy you would not normally have sex with. That, like, it's so stupid. So many women are reporting rape and then acting like it's the worst thing that's ever happened to them when it was basically consensual and you were drunk. And it's like, men have to be so careful and I feel so sorry for men because of this, like, feminist protection that they're getting where it's like, can I have sex with this drunk girl at this party? Is she going to wake up the next morning and report me? You know, can I do this and that because she's just going to fucking wake up the next morning and report me? You know, can I, you know, choke my girlfriend or is she going to say that it's abuse? Can I have rough sex or are they going to say it's abuse? Like, oh, you know, if some girl that I'm not attracted to, you know, somehow gets a hold of me and rapes me when I'm drunk, oh, it's like, whatever, you just laugh it off and now it's like a walk of shame that you have to do. Well, I think it should be the same for women. It should just be like, oh, I was drunk and I did some stupid shit walk of shame. It wasn't someone abducting you and beating you. And so many women are reporting this and it's so easy to because it's going to be her word against his and her word will always, always take precedence because she's a woman. And it's just, it's so silly. And a lot of like women are, the, these feminists are like pushing for equality. Well, if you want equality, you have to not get all of the perks for being, you know, smaller physically or, you know, weaker physically because you can't, you can't have that protection like, you know, a man opens a door for you or, you know, like you can be raped but a man can't. All of these, like, these things that don't make sense in the feminist arguments, like we need to understand that women are smaller, you know, physically most of the time. They're weaker physically most of the time. But, you know, if you're doing, like, people don't understand that the difference between fighting for the same pay uh, with the same abilities, like let's say some kind of math accounting job or something like that. If the woman does the same, uh, like 
the same type of job as the man, and the woman's doing just as good as the man, she should be paid the same. Yes, sure. Everyone should have the same rights as a human being, regardless of gender, race, creed, religion, stuff like that. But when it, we have to understand that there are, you know, physiological, even psychological and physical differences in a man and a woman, and we need to judge case by case, and we need to stop like putting certain labels on people that will ruin their lives based on just some stupid mistake that if it was the other way around, some guy fucking some ugly chick he didn't want to fuck, it would be like, you can't report that as rape. And, you know, as I've said before, I'm not talking about the actual like horrific rapes where you don't even know the person all of a sudden you're you know grabbed and raped there's no consent whatsoever there's no even like flirting and then i do agree that it does suck if like a girl seems promiscuous or dresses promiscuously and they hold that up in court but at the same time it's like yeah sure her being like that doesn't necessarily condone rape but she's not asking for it but at the same time if she's putting up certain signs and giving enough consent that would be good enough for you know a man with a woman and then she like regrets it the next day that's not fucking rape and i think there's a huge problem with people labeling it all as the same thing so um i have never been raped i made a video about almost molested that was the closest i've ever been um, and I can imagine the outcome and I can imagine that I would stick to my guns with this and it has nothing to do with emotion. It's purely rational and logical and I just feel sorry for people like the guy who got kicked out of the whole magic community for the rest of his life, a lifetime ban for something they did 10 years ago when he is a bigger upstanding citizen now, is married than like most people in the world, most people in the magic community. And it sucks that just like some kind of word of mouth makes this person a monster, just as big of a monster as someone you know, who went out and like premeditated a rape and it's just fucking stupid. So hopefully you guys uh, take this for what it is, which is my um, worry and my effort to kind of feel sorry for the power that women have over men and sexuality and how it's just like it's up to them. It's basically up to how they perceived things. And I can imagine so many like unstable or emotional or illogical women just, you know, making mistakes at a club or making mistakes at a party and then ruining a guy's life. And I want women to understand that if you make a claim like that, you're ruining someone else's life and you have an immense amount of power because otherwise a bunch of victims would be not as protected as they should be. But you should, you know, T not take that power for granted and not, you know, ruin someone's life over it. And um, if you guys have had anything like that happen, or if you, like, do you guys feel, okay, as a man, I know most of my um, audience is male, do you ever feel like when you're getting involved with another girl or with a new girl or with a girlfriend and, you know, she wants it rough or you want it rough or you're having sex with a girl who might be intoxicated, like, do you ever feel uncomfortable with that situation? Do you ever go like, you know, I have to be extra careful because anything can come out of this. Have you ever been accused of anything? Has anything ever come of that? Um, I'm hoping most of you have not been accused of rape or uh, have had any actual problems with this. But um, I wanted to talk about it a little bit and I'm sorry for the heavy topic. And if any of you have actually been raped, uh, you should definitely report it. But you should make sure that it wasn't just a mistake and that it was an actual, you know, not like, oh, I agreed to have sex with him and then he smelled bad and now I don't like it. Or, oh, I was drunk and then I woke up in the morning and I didn't like it and I wasn't sure if I consented. Be sure, be sure that it actually emotionally affected you because it just seems like, you know, you're opening up an opportunity for so many women to cry rape when it's convenient for them. And um, that's kind of shitty. I hate the, there's like a predicament where you have to protect the actual victims, but how can you tell the actual victims from the liars and the crazy bitches, you know? And that sucks for men, and I'm glad I'm not a man because I'm never gonna be convicted of rape. I mean, I feel like it's a little bit silly that uh, teachers get convicted of rape when they're like 22 having sex with like, or 25 I guess would be better because I think that's out of the range of all of the whatevers, but like 25 having sex with a 16 or 17 year old boy, like sure they shouldn't be a teacher anymore, but why is that such a big fucking deal? When I was 16, the 16 year old boys and myself, we were ready to make decisions in sex and sure, some guy can like manipulate a, a teenage girl or manipulate a teenage guy, uh, a girl can, and you know that can be you know damaging but that can happen at any fucking age like i you can make mistakes sexually or make mistakes with who you have a relationship with at any age and by the time you're like 16 i think you can make those decisions on your own so the fact that they judge that so harshly and you're going to jail for it is like actually fucking stupid i don't think people should put so much you know so much importance on sex anyway it's not like oh someone sticks their dick in me and now you know 
it's the end of the fucking world in terms of like, oh my god, I can't believe I did that, now I can't take it back, or oh my god, now I'm a slut. Like, all these, all these like, labels that society puts on sex is so fucking stupid. So yeah, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what kind of topics you want me to talk about next. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this one. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hey guys, if you're enjoying my free content and you want to keep my content flowing, please consider supporting my Patreon campaign. Pledge a couple dollars in support of my YouTube and live stream, and get some cool exclusive content while you're helping me reach my goals. Link is down in the description. Thank you. Anything helps. Hey there, vlog and fan service lovers. I just wanted to let you guys know that I now have a serious upload schedule. Every day is going to be normal update and topic vlogs, except... Wednesdays are gonna be interchangeably Tara Reads Comments and Sex Ed with Tara. So that means every other Wednesday is Tara Reads Comments and every other Wednesday is Sex Ed with Tara. And every other Friday is gonna be Friday Night Mail or Fan Service Fridays. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as my gaming YouTube at youtube.com slash Games. And if you wanna watch my gameplay live, don't forget to check out terababcock.tv or twitch.tv slash Subscribe and don't forget to smile. Bye guys.